White Water by Jonathan and Aaron London, illustrated by Jill Kastner. For Roger, Lisa, Rowan, Dennis, and Skip, and the whole Mountain Whitewater Gang, JL, for the boys and Brian, Jamie, and Will, JK. Two hours by the air, then four on the road, we went to the put in the Green River, and the Desolation Canyon, Utah, in Tumbleweed Desert, we made a camp for the night. Dad told me again how much fun white water rafting was, and by the end, he said, you'll learn to read the river. Which way looks safer? Which way is more dangerous? I was quiet, thinking about how scary it would be. Here, the river was flat, and by what did it come around was the huge rock falls. Coyotes on the cannon row rim woke it was early, and we and the wild man Dennis yelling, come and get it. He crawled out of the tents and mixed his breakfast pancakes, hash browns, and bacon. Dennis could would be the cook for ten people for the next seven days. That's a lot. As the sun climbed to the mountains, filled the canyon with warmth, as we clipped in, breaking camp, pumping air in the rafts, loading them up and strap things down. Otherwise, we would fly down when we hit the rapids. Dad said, what about us? I wonder if we pushed off. But not all the river rafting is rapids. We rode. Dad took turns, and Dennis and Roger, we floated and got hotter and pointed to an eagle soaring overhead and floated Cam here more. Then we listened and listened, and Dad, that's what? I asked. White water, he shouted. We were moving faster and Roger was rowing and the river seemed to suck us along. Roger swung the raft around the face. The rapids hung on tight. All of a sudden, the water was white and if thousands of white little wipers were jumping around us. I clenched my teeth and fists we were whipped and spun around in waves. Yeehaw, I yelled. Almost fell all over backwards. Yep, and hang on. The rapid was my first one. I was through the fun. We were starting to look for a place to camp on the another cry went up the horses went up the horses in the steep bank four wild horses and two coyotes. You could see the muscles bulging in the glaze and some leader took off running. The rest fall. Who's pounding rocks sliding and little colts racing behind. That evening, after a quick jump in the freezing snow melt water, I could feel the pounding of the those in the pounding of my heart, we gone through the rapids. And the first time, I really noticed the beauty of the high can walls, reddish gold, and the setting sun. Over the next five river days, we crashed through the rapids and sat around the fire. Ate great food, slept under a billion bright stars, and our second last day, a smooth stretch of the river, I was sitting on the Oars opposite of Dad, pushing when he pulled, we were singing, row, row, row your boat, crashing down the stream. When we heard the roar, it was a loud sip, and we getting closer, white batter after I hollered. Wow. The first thing we hit it was a huge hole in the waterfall, followed by a wave as a big and small house. We went flying. Dad's hat flew off. We were laughing. Conk heads in the bottom of the raft, but Roger Dodge grabbed the oars and we made it through. But it wasn't over yet. We smashed through four more rapids through the came with Rattlesnake Rapid, and I tried to read the river. At least two dozen boulders strutted through the water among the haystack sack waves, deep holes, some are called keeper holes. You get sucked in and never come out. I pointed the smooth V in the current shouted, That's their tongue. Then it seemed the river swallowed us, Roger yelled, bail, bail, bailed hard, but the raft whipped and slammed into the rocks and got stuck in the edge of the hole. High side, high side, Roger shouted, and we clung to the high side, and the raft kept flipping over, Lisa says the next raft threw us the line, but the current was so fast she missed. The last river rolled by and then missed us, too. The river was tumbling. The hole was pulling us and pulling us. 
Roger gripped the oars, Dad and I helped, and then together we pulled so hard the oars that we thought we would break. Instead, our raft was spit out and the rolling hole, and we were free. That night, our last day of the river, Wild Man Dennis roasted 10 pounds of slab of New York steak and a dozen potatoes. We sat around the fire. Roger Dodger lifted up the cup and made a toast to the river, to the river. The river rants, clipped the cups, Dad said, the river stole my hat and my heart, and I said, let's eat. And that was the best meal we ever had, probably will ever have. I learned to read the river. I like what I read.